Hey guys, how are you all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic and welcome back to the channel. Today we have for you guys is another movie review and today we're going to be reviewing DC's Shazam. Now yeah, this came out today and, uh, for, you know, legally today. I know a bunch of people have uh, seen it early, reviewers and, uh, you know, paid reviewers and all that crap. But today it officially came out, so I saw it and, um, yeah, I think, I think honestly DC is on a roll. Um, before we get into this, again, I'm going to say I did not look at what people are saying. Uh, I didn't care about what critics were saying and all that crap, so I, I just said to heck with it. I'm going to go see this movie completely clean, as I always do. And uh, I also want to re-kind of tell you guys that um, I love every DC movie. There are a few that are terrible, but, you know, those are old. You know, as far as DCEU goes, like Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, Justice League, Aquaman, Shazam. Uh, I think I got them all. Um, I love them all. Wonder Woman is still my least favorite, just because I feel like they got the character all wrong, and there's a few other weird reasons, but, um, I still liked Wonder Woman. But today, uh, of course, we're reviewing Shazam, and let me just tell you guys, DC, again, they're on a roll. Um, you know, the majority of the people are going to say, oh, DC movies suck, and now they're all like, oh, they're great again! Um, I thought they were always great, so, now that you know that I love all those movies that everyone hates, yes, I love Suicide Squad. Um, I'm going to tell you guys that Shazam is really, really good. Is this my favorite DCEU film? No, um, but it's really, really good. It's definitely not one of my least favorite. It's one of my favorites. It's tied with, I think, uh, I'd say the majority. I think my favorite DCEU film so far is Aquaman. I really, really love that movie, and if you haven't seen my review of Aquaman yet, um, do check that out. Um, it's really, really cool, and of course I have a tribute for that too. Uh, for Aquaman. But, yeah, Shaz uh, Shazam is just fantastic. I really, really enjoyed it. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty. Um, the trailer. Again, the trailer looked like garbage, essentially. Um, it, it looked funny, but it looked kind of corny funny. You know, like Guardians of the Galaxy and Ant-Man and Deadpool. Those are the Lego Batman movie. Those comic book films, Teen Titans go to the movies, those movies are funny because they're legitimately funny at times. Shazam just felt forced, and it didn't feel funny. But going into this movie, it really was freaking hilarious. I laughed a lot. Um, it's not necessarily a full-blown comedy, um, but it does have a lot of funny moments, especially when, you know, Zachary Levi's Shazam comes on a scene, you know. So, um, let's get into now the actual film, now that I talked about other filler stuff. Um, I don't know, what should I start? I guess I'll start with the script. The script was very good. Uh, most movies, I don't really talk about the script, but this one felt really, really strong. It felt genuine because because of these foster kids, you know, the, 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 the screenwriters and the writers, they do a really good job of kind of addressing what it's like for a kid um, such as Freddie Freeman and Billy Batson to feel kind of like they're, um, I guess, ostracized, you know? They're not very loved, you know, they, they're foster kids, you know, that doesn't mean anything, of course, but, you know, they have to adjust to things, and they get bullied a lot, and all that cool stuff, all that cool stuff, damn it, I sound really weird now, all that cool stuff, they're getting bullied, no, but honestly, I, that was a little whoops, um, I'm not editing that out, by the way, but yeah, so they get this, you know, the, the, the script did a great job of, I think, talking to the audience, and, you know, not belittling them, and not saying, hey, they're foster kids, they're a bunch of retards, you know, they're actually... They're, they're treated like humans, which is very nice, it's very cool to see, um, and it's also, what's not nice to see, is that they're getting bullied. Finally, I said that right. Um, so, you know, these two kids, I don't, I just have to go outside on it really quick, I'm sorry, but you know those scenes in, like, every movie ever, the kid who would be king, this movie Shazam, there's so many films where the bully is, like, beaten up on the kid, right? And then the kid runs, right? And then the bullies chase the kid who's running. But I know it's a movie, and I know it has to fit with the script, and in Shazam it works. But I freaking hate that. In real life, if I see, if I'm an adult, or, well, I am an adult, you know, if I'm older, and I see some kid running, and then I see these other two, three, four kids running, I'm going to wonder, hey, what's up? Is that kid getting bullied? I'm not just going to keep walking. So, I don't know. That's a trend in movies I wish would stop. Um, you know, like Shazam, Billy Batson, before he, you know, sees the wizard. Um, and again, there's no spoilers, but, uh, you know, from the trailer, that's what happens. So, Billy Batson kind of slides in this mall area down, and he goes into this, um, you know, train thing. And, um, you know, the boys are chasing him, but not one adult stops it. I don't get it. I don't know. Anyway, that's just a little side tangent. But on to the actual review now. 
continuing with that. Um, so yeah, the script was really cool. It played a great plot, and it, it did a good job with these characters, and it made you feel for them, you know. This whole family, it really connects you with the family, and that's really cool, because you wouldn't expect that in a DC film, you know. You're just expecting a little bit of comedy, lots of action, drama, suspense, awesome, right? But this really had a lot of heart to it, which was really cool, and you don't see that in a lot of uh, comic book films, even Marvel, really. Um, so, of course, the plot, again, pretty straightforward. There's this wizard, and, uh, you know, Shazam, who was dying, and he, he has to find this perfect person, right? This person is really clean of heart. And it turns out Billy Batson is the one that he, he keeps basically choosing a bunch of people. And he chose this guy, um, well, I don't know, should I say that? I'm not going to say it. You know what? I'm not going to say it. It's a spoiler. Um, if you've seen the trailer, Dr. Savannah, played by Mark Strong, who is uh, Merlin from Kingsman, if you've seen Kingsman, um, great movies, can't wait for the great game. But, essentially, um, he's the bad guy, and as far as... Uh, Mark Strong's Dr. Savannah, he's my, uh, I'd say third favorite uh, villain in the DCEU. My first would be Joker, suit Jared Leto. I know, I know, I know. I like Jared Leto, I'm sorry. Um, Orm from Aquaman, and then of course Dr. Savannah. I like Zod and all the other ones, and, um, you know, but it is what it is, so that, that's my lineup. But anyway, yeah, so the plot's really cool, so Billy Batson goes and he gets these powers, you know, but it turns out that you kind of have a contrast between the seriousness of this foster kid and he's trying to fit in and the family ties to then a lot of action where Shazam, Zachary Levi's character, the funny dude, he basically goes and fights Dr. Savannah for, of course, reasons. Now, the trailer doesn't really give you a, a lot of good reasons as to go see this movie. It's just, oh, he gets powers and it's funny and he fights a bad guy. That's it, you know. It's different and it's a lot better in the movie. Trust me, it's not as stupid as in the trailer. Um, that's becoming a trend, really. Trailers are just crap. The movies are way better. But, um, yeah, so the plot's great. You know, it deals with a lot of good family things, and it has great action, and it has great comedy. So I'd say the plot is another winner for DC. Um, they don't get into anything too corny. Now, a lot of people could say that Shazam looks corny because of the costumes, and he's funny. You know, it's just, this is, I think, DC's way of saying, hey, we can be cool, too. And of course, the Lego Batman movie and Teen Titans, Teen Titans go to the movies and Aquaman, Justice League. They had funny moments. And, you know, Lego Batman movie and Teen Titans go, those are legit comedies and they're really funny. But there's other ones, they had slight moments of, of, of funny, you know. But this one was really funny. It wasn't an all-out comedy, but it was. it's proof that DC can have fun, you know, like Marvel. They can have light moments of, you know, levity and then really high-octane action moments. Well... Going to the action now, um, I think this movie has great action scenes, but it's nowhere near Aquaman. Um, I'd say it's on par with Batman v Superman, Justice League, all that stuff. Um, but as far as like how the action scenes are filmed, Aquaman is still the best. I love it. It's amazing. It's my favorite action scene in a comic book movie ever, Aquaman. Those, those action scenes are just freaking awesome. But then you get to the actual... Um, you know, action scenes of this, and they're really good. Trust me, they're really, really good. But they don't necessarily hold up to, you know, Aquaman standards. But now we'll get to, let's see, we covered the script, we covered the plot, we covered the um, the action scenes. Well, let's talk about the acting. I think that Billy Batson and Freddie Freeman and all the other Foster kids, they did a fantastic job uh, as actors. I think, um, I don't really remember seeing any of them before in anything, so if this is their first film, good luck to you guys. They're doing a great job. Um, now, of course, Zachary Levi, he was in Marvel, actually. He was, um, Fandral. Of course, he died in Thor Ragnarok, but he was kind of funny in that. But I think this guy is perfect for Shazam because his personality is really funny. And, he, you know, Shazam, from, I'm not the biggest Shazam fan. I don't read all the comics, but from what I can tell, he's a pretty funny character. He's not like Lobo and Deadpool, you know, all that stuff. He's not like the funny guy of DC, but he is funny at times. And I think that Zachary Levi, as an actor, did a really good job of that. And, of course, Mark Strong, who played Dr. Savannah, he was freaking awesome. He was really menacing. He was funny at times. Um, there's a scene where he's, like, monologuing, and they're, you know, Shazam and uh, Savannah, they're fighting, you know, and they're, they're kind of like, like, here's Shazam, and then here is, on the other side, you can't see my other hand here, I don't think, but this is Savannah, and they're kind of like, Savannah's, like, monologuing, you know, the villain monologuing. Shazam's like, I can't hear you! It's such a funny moment. Um, so, yeah, lots of funny stuff. The acting was also great. Now, let's get into do... Uh, probably the most controversial part for me is the CGI. A lot of comic book movies have this problem. They have great CGI, right? Look at things like Infinity War and Civil War and uh, Aquaman and so many comic book movies. Kingsman. I know Kingsman is not Marvel and DC, but it is a comic book movie, so it technically counts as a comic book movie. Um, you know, they have great CGI, but there are some parts in some of these films where the CGI dips in quality. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, Civil War. Falcon. 
I've already said this in another video. If you've seen that, you know, you've heard it already. It looks really bad. Black Panther, great movie. Pretty crap CGI. Um, let's see, Aquaman, one of the best CGI movies ever. I mean, it looks so good. This movie, however, I feel like half their budget went to Aquaman and half of it was okay in Shazam. Um, you know, when they move, you can tell it's a little blurry and, you know, there's wire work done. There's nothing you can really hide that. You know, that looks okay. That's fine. It's passable. But the Seven Deadly Sins, who were the bad guys in this movie, which I'm not going to talk about because it's kind of a spoiler. They didn't even touch upon it in the trailer. But you know the Seven Deadly Sins in religion and all that stuff and in the Muppets? I guess it was there, too. Um, they're in this movie, and they're like these big hawking CGI monsters, you know. And it kind of reminds me of Gr um, 2011 Green Lantern but with Ryan Reynolds. That CGI was pretty horrendous. Now, again, it was an older movie, but that's not passable. It was just pretty horrendous. Now, are these Seven Deadly Sin monsters as bad as Green Lantern? No. Are they good like Aquaman? No. They're just not the best, but they're not the worst. So I think the CGI can kind of dip in quality in this film. But all in all, I mean, this is a really action-packed movie. It has a great plot. It has really heartwarming moments that you wouldn't expect to see in a DC film. It's just loaded with action, loaded with really fun humor and really fun moments. Is it as fun as Aquaman? No. But again, as its own film, because I'm not reviewing Aquaman, I'm reviewing Shazam. Um, as a standalone film of Shazam, I love it. It's such a great movie. Um, for those of you who hate the DCEU uh, and you like Justice League or you like Wonder Woman, Aquaman, you're going to like Shazam. It follows that same standard that the Marvel Cinematic Universe holds. Um, again, me loving all the DC movies, including Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad, Man of Steel, Justice League, um, it was just as good, I think. You know, Aquaman is still my favorite, but Shazam is a really good second. It's fantastic. I really enjoyed it, and I'm going to have to give it an A. Again, just some of the CGI is a little weird, but, you know, I'm picky with that about comic book movies because they've been really bad. And, you know, in certain movies, you'd expect them to be great, like Captain Marvel, but then sometimes it looks crap in that movie, too. So, again, Shazam has a little bit of a CGI mess sometimes, but all in all, it's re it looks really good all in all. Um, it's got a great plot, great characters, great story, great acting, great action scenes. It's a blast. I highly recommend you see Shazam. Um, I'm not the biggest Shazam fan. I've heard about him, and I love I love the character, but I don't like know everything about the character. So if you guys know anything about the character, tell me if the Seven Deadly Sins are in the Shazam comics, and tell me if the um, Dr. Savannah, if he is in the comics. He pretty, I'm pretty sure he is. Um, but yeah, so again, I love Shazam. It's a great movie, and DCEU, you guys are going strong. Um, again, I love every DCEU movie, so you guys have been going strong since Man of Steel in 2013. But for the half of the people who don't like the DCEU, and again, that's your opinion, um, you're going to like it for sure. So I think every DC fan is going to really love it, especially if you, you know, if you think Shazam is really corny from the trailer, don't. It's, it's great. It's really cool. It's a great time. So thank you guys. Remember, I'll give it an A. And um, I should be posting uh, Lego DC Supervillains really, really soon. In fact, um, the same day, actually. I'm going to be hosting the level pack. If you didn't know, LEGO DC Supervillains recently got the Shazam uh, DLC pack number one, which I believe it's the Toy Store fight with um, Shazam and Dr. Savannah that you see in some of the TV spots and all that. By the way, that scene was freaking awesome. So yeah, I'm going to be filming that soon. That should be up fairly soon. And um, yeah, thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.